All new at 11, a viral campaign is growing tonight to help a local coffee vendor. He's taking on Ybor City to change an ordinance that dates back decades. And now he has the backing of thousands of strangers. ABC Action News reporter Edward Lawrence is live in Ybor to explain what's behind this debate. Edward? Hey, he's a street vendor. Now, part of the issue is the size of the sidewalk. I can take just three steps and be on the other side. The other part of the debate is that there is room enough for everyone, even the smallest of the small businesses. Joel Davis wants to sell his unique iced coffee in the neighborhood where he lives. Only police keep removing him from the sidewalk. We're Ebor residents. We're an Ebor business. We want the trike and the coffee to be good for our neighborhood. He spent the past year and a half developing the process to brew boutique iced coffee, then dispense it through a tap on his modified trike. Out like it'll look like a Guinness, you know? It's a special order Dutch bicycle he retrofitted to match his self-proclaimed hipster style. Mobile vending has a very significant role in the historical building of Ybor City. And uh, so we just want to be a part of enriching that culture again. Davis peddled right into an ordinance banning all street vending in Ybor City, except during special events. My first observation with him was actually right in selling coffee right in front of a, of a brand new coffee shop. Vince Pardo manages the Ybor City Development Corporation, tasked with growing the historic district while keeping it a safe place to shop and play. He says by the 1990s, street vendors flooded Ybor, taking customers from the shops on 7th Street at every turn. In the words of the merchants, competing with them for cigar sales, for Cuban sandwiches, for just about anything you can think about, they were out there vending. Pardo says street vending got out of hand, and controlling it partly helped the district flourish as it has. Davis doesn't want the free-for-all chaos, just a chance to work near his home. I just think a blanket ordinance that bans mobile vending in Ebor isn't the right scenario in 2015. And there's a market inside this building during the day. Now, street vendors are welcome inside the building to set up shop. They are not welcome on the sidewalk here. 1,000 people have signed a change.org petition to change the rules. Joel Davis vows that he will continue fighting. Reporting live in Ebor City, Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News.